Hi, good morning. So uh, down here, I'm in the basement and I'm gonna show you just a couple of things about the sauna, the electrical panel and the water shut off. So the first thing is the electrical panel. So if you're standing in the basement next to the door, electrical panel is right here. So if you ever have any issues with power, all of the circuits for the house are right here. Um, shouldn't be a problem, but if they are, electrical's right there. Okay, the second thing is water shut off. If you go outside the basement door, there's a little green box right here. And if you lift this little green box up, there's a water shut off right inside of here the water is ever flooding or coming out out of any of the um, hose lines or bibs then you want to shut the water off outside so that it doesn't flood the house and the last thing show you how to operate the sauna so the sauna is right in here of the basement so second door to the left and um, there's really only two switches on the sauna that you need to um, spend time with and um, there's two knobs right on the front of the sauna okay the left knob this is your temperature gauge so depending on how hot you want the sauna, you can adjust this one. Um, the, right, the right switch is the on off button. And basically, if you're in the section where there's a solid red bar up above the, the knob, that means it's on. However, there's also a timer. So if you want to um, you know, wake up in the morning to a hot sauna, you can set this by just turning this knob all the way around. It goes all the way over to nine hours. So if you push it all the way over to nine, it counts down till nine hours and then it turns on for the last hour. So most of the time, if you're not looking to set a timer, you're just basically gonna turn it into the red and you'll see that the light comes on. That means that the sauna is on. Okay, so just a couple other things. Um, there is a water bucket right here. Do not put any water on these coals until this has been on for at least 15, 20 minutes. So you should see that it's very hot in here. There's a temperature gauge up here to the left. If it's not above 100, 120 degrees, do not put any water on the filament or on the sauna elements. Um, and the reason for that is the water is just gonna fall right down through it, right? It's not gonna steam out if it's not hot. Uh, second thing is, don't put, this, um, don't put this spoon in the bucket. Keep it on top of the bucket. Um, you know, obviously fill that up with water, but don't leave the spoon down inside of it because it soaks up all of the water and then it molds and it gets gross. Um, there's also a timer up here to the left, so you kind of know how much time you've been in here. I don't recommend staying in here. You know, if you're at 150, 160 degrees in here, you should take breaks. Maybe do like 15, 20 minutes. Make sure you always have water. Do not put glasses on the ground. This tile down here is very, very hard, um, and it's easy for glass to break. People are coming in here usually with no shoes on, and we don't want them to damage their feet um, or get a shard of glass in it. Um, last, always bring um, a towel in here. Obviously, the whole purpose of a sauna is you're gonna sweat, sweat heavily usually. Um, so just make sure you wipe it down um, when you're done and you've walked out. And then last, the last piece is, there's a little up here in the top corner of the sauna, there's a little, um, vent so that when you're done with the sauna, this lets out all of the hot air um, and kind of cleans the whole room out so you're not sitting with um, an incredibly hot 
sauna with nowhere for all that hot air to go. Um, once once everything is, has um, suctioned out and moved out of the, the sauna area, just close it back up and you're ready for the next use. Enjoy your time in the sauna.